good? Fellas, I got a great topic for y'all today. It's your boy, John, man. You know, this is going to be very interesting, guys. We're going to look at things from a very much different perspective. We're going to dive into this, though. I really hope you're not wanting to consume red pill content, fellas, for women. I hope you're not trying to become alpha or trying to tap into your more alpha side just to sleep with a bunch of women, fellas. I really hope you're not because I want y'all to understand that that's the total opposite about what I preach over here in my channel. See, I don't believe in pedestalizing the vagina. I don't believe in that. And if your motive is women, you still doing what I'm preaching against. You know why you should want to improve? You should want to improve, fellas, because you want to be better. You want the most out of life. You want the most abundant experiences out of life that you can possibly have. That's that's why you should be wanting to improve as a man. And if you're not getting better every day, then what are you doing? What are you doing? If you ain't getting better every day, fellas, what are you doing? Real talk. This is going to be a great conversation for us, fellas. Let's dive in. Sleeping with a lot of women is a detriment to you. It's a red pill you must swallow. See, society has taught us that we should sleep with a lot of women as men. Oh, sleep with a lot of women. Be with as many women as you can. Screw a lot of women. That's what you're supposed to do. Now, I understand, granted, that, fellas, we have um, polyamorous desires. We may want multiple women. And that's fine. I'm not, I'm not saying that that's not okay. But this is what I'm saying, fellas. We got to be more selective with the women we sleep with. We have to understand our sexual energy. See, energy, guys, first of all, let me just start by saying this. You have a third dimensional alpha and you got a fifth dimensional alpha. You understand that the world is dimensions, right? See, when you tap into your spiritual side, you unlift the veil and you really see what we're dealing with. See, in the third, in the 3D world, the third dimensional, the more superficial world, if you got a nice car, you got abs, you look good, you got money, you tall, you get a lot of women. Okay, I can see how people will call that aspect as a form of alpha. But then when you step, tap into your spiritual side and you, you step over into the fifth dimension, into the spiritual realm, you start to understand that, damn, my energy is, is really everything. And if I'm a man, if I'm supposed to protect, if I'm protecting my cell phone, you know, you put your outer box on your cell phone, you get insurance to protect yourself if you get into a car accident. Why am I not protecting my energy? I protect all these things that don't matter, these tangibles, but my energy, my soul, why am I not protecting that? Why do you think that can't be attacked? Fellas, when you sleep with a lot of women, you do know you take on their traumas, right? You take on their traumas. You take on their heartbreak. You take on their depression, their anxiety, all of this shit. And not to mention whatever their other partners have taken on that they have taken on from that partner. You take that on as well. So you wonder why you're depressed. You wonder why you're confused. You wonder why you don't know what's going on and you can't find who you really truly are. Fellas, and I'm speaking from experience because this happened to me. See, your man juice... Your nut, your cum, that's your energy. And the more you harness it, the stronger you become, the more masculine you become, the more alpha you become, the more creative you become, because that is your source of life. Sperm is important. Without it, babies can't be born. It leaves your body, which means it comes from a source. Your source is within you. And you must build up to build your strength. I'm going to give y'all an example. Y'all watch Dragon Ball Z. Y'all remember how when, when Goku would go Super Saiyan and, and he would conjure up all of that energy before he'd throw that Powerball, right? He would conjure all the energy up. That's essentially the same thing you're doing when you harness your energy and you harness your sexual man juice, fellas. You harness your sexual energy. And I'm going to tell you what's so dope about this. Women can tell and sense my women who tapped into their spirituality. And even women who not, they don't, even under, they don't understand why they're attracted. The women who tapped into their spiritual side, they get it. But the women who are not, they're still affected by it because you essentially start to become more attractive to women because of pheromones. The energy, the aura that your body gives off, her guts won't it. Her guts vibrate. And they're like, shit, this motherfucker. I don't know why he, damn, what's something about this guy? Your alpha aura becomes more of a presence because of pheromones. Your energy source is building, it's heightening. How do y'all think when dogs are in heat, they know where to go and they know which dog is wanting it? How do you think animals know when it's time to mate? You think they just text each other and shit? They ain't got, dogs don't got thumbs no way, so they can't text. <laughs> that little joke funny to me. I don't care what y'all talking about. But what I'm saying is, is that how do you think they communicate, fellas? 
energy. The energy that we all, see, we all have a soul and our soul is nothing but energy. Energy can't die. It can only transfer. So when you swapping energies with people, all, all you're doing is transferring energies. That's all you're doing. When you make yourself this accessible, does this make you alpha? Does it make you high value, fellas? Do y'all think this makes you high value? When you're easily accessible? No, it doesn't. See, when something is a commodity and it's rare, it's high value. When something is easily accessible, the, the price tends to drop. And that's essentially what you're doing when you sleep with all these women. You, you're not high value, bro. You don't protect your energy. You're not, you're not protecting yourself. You're just giving yourself to anybody. And I understand that this can be hard at first, fellas, especially for my young guys. I know you're feeling yourself. I know you're just getting your first taste of pussy, fellas. I understand. And this is what causes a detriment to so many men's lives because they never get to the point. Where they can harness their sexual energy. See, I used to sleep with a bunch of women in, and I'm and I'm not and I'm not condoning this. I was a slut, and I'm not condoning this. But I learned from it. My life was in shambles when I was sharing myself with all these women. When I was sleeping with four or five girls a week, I'm literally dating a lot of women, and these ain't high quality women. I just literally wanted a notch under my belt. I was sleeping with women. All of them weren't pretty. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all and tell y'all that some of them were fours. Some of them were BBWs. They wasn't all pretty fellas. I ain't gonna sit here and say that. No, a lot of them were. But some, I know all of them was. Sometimes I slept with women in after. I was like, damn, I ain't even gonna sleep with her. Like, why I do? Ugh, why did why did I do that? Because society teaches us as men is what we're supposed to do when in actuality it's it's tearing you down. See, the more you don't harness your sexual energy, fellas. The weaker you become, you're never on full. You're always on E. You've never allowed yourself to regenerate and to build up. So everything you do is half ass. Your masculinity is half ass. Your testosterone is half ass. The way you perform in the bedroom is half ass. Your creativity is half ass. You can't be the God you naturally need to be because you don't allow yourself to rebuild and to reboot. This is why I practice semen retention, fellas. Semen retention, going periods of time without masturbating. Without having sex or if you have sex, you want to get to the point to where you're so good at it that you don't even ejaculate. You know what this do to a woman when you have sex with her and you don't you don't come. She like, damn, what the. I told y'all you want to keep a woman chasing your validation. She going to become so nasty because she going to be like, mm, he got I got to make him bust. I want him to bust. He got to. I need all that. She going to be questioning. She going to be like, damn, why he ain't. Well, I'm not saying play mind games with a woman, but I'm telling y'all, y'all want to do some switch it up sometimes. Get to the level where you don't, you turning sex down. No, I don't need that today. I got to focus. Especially if you in the gym, you got a purpose, you got a hobby, you got a business you're trying to build. You think you got time to sleep with a lot of women? See, a lot of women, bro, that I deal with, they be like, I know you got hoes. You got a bunch of hoes and they really don't believe me, but I'm keeping it a hundred. I don't have hoes by choice. I don't have time for that. You should be on your purpose, fellas. Women are not your motive. Women shouldn't be your, 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 your goal. I think sleeping with a lot of women is for rich dudes. I'm still not condoning it then, but if you're not to the level you need to be, how do you have time to take away from yourself when you could be using this energy to get better? Get better, fellas. Sleeping with a lot of women is not going to make you better. Yeah, for then, at the moment, it feels good, but what happens as you get older? As your body starts to degenerate and to deteriorate and to start to decline. As your testosterone levels start to lower and you're still trying to do what you did at 25, at 35. Huh? What do you, what's going on? What do you think's happening then? Why do you think guys are becoming impotent at early ages? They never allowed their body, their sexual organ to reproduce. I'm not reproduce, but to regenerate. That's probably the problem. They're trying to reproduce too much. They never allowed it to regenerate. It's important, fellas, that you pay attention to your chi and your aura and understand that your sexual energy is a direct manifestation of your inner God. Why do you think I call my channel truly indigenous? The indigenous ones understood that they could create their own reality. What do gods do? Gods create. Gods create. See, if you read the good book, like I, like I said, I'm not a religious person, but I understand that you can get knowledge from any place. So you read the book, it tells you, how did God in the book create the world? He spoke it into existence. Gods create by speaking. You speak power to yourself, fellas. Each and every day you tell yourself, I'm a God. I am abundant. I am beautiful. 
I am powerful. I attract positive opportunity. You have to really feel this way. But if you constantly on E, the energy you possess is not going to be that strong. You ain't going to be in the space to even be able to use the universe to attract positive to your life, to attract abundance to your life, to, tr to attract creativity to your life. I don't need a lot of this knowledge I be getting sometimes, fellas. Believe it or not, this going to sound crazy. It's download from the universe. I am her baby. The universe. She gives me downloads because I align myself with her. I, I, I meditate. I get myself right. I go periods of time without having sex and without ejaculate. I don't masturbate anyway. I don't condone that. Stop Stop jerking off, bro. That's, <laughs> that's such a detriment. I did a video on semen retention, guys. I explained all of that. Go check that video out. But stop doing that. That's not good for you, okay? You want to control and harness your sexual energy so that you can be at your all-time high. See what I'm saying? You understand that? You want to retain and exude as much masculinity as possible, not take away from it. That's the total opposite about what I preach over here. But I just had to drop that video today, fellas. It was on my mind. It was on my spirit. I had to give y'all that. See, I'm going to start giving y'all more spiritual insight. That's what I'm going to do. So you can come to my channel for the real red pill content. You can come to my channel for the alpha male content and the mindset content. But from a spiritual point of view, I'm going to start giving y'all that. It's important that you tap into that because there's levels to this. Being a spiritual alpha is totally different. You look at things differently. You, you assess things differently. You dissect things differently. When the veil is lifted, you see differently. The red pill is a rabbit hole and it's very deep, fellas. But that's it for the video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time.